Magic Mike XXL, Magic Mike Extra Extra Large, Magic Mike Extra Extra Long. We'll go with Magic Mike 2. This film once again reunites Channing Tatum's Magic Mike character, the male entertainer, as they so often refer to themselves, with his other male entertainer buddies as they go on a road trip to this convention in which they are trying to just make some dollar bills. That's really all it's about. But it's really about the camaraderie amongst these men, the conversations they have about what they do, their viewpoints on their position in life, the way they affect the women they're dancing for. And it's actually a lot deeper than you might expect, similar to the first Magic Mike, which was directed by Steven Soderbergh, who I think is one of the best directors who's ever really got his hands on a camera before. The guy has an amazing eye for director of photography, and although he's not directing this movie, he did return as a director of photography on Magic Mike 2, and this is a gorgeous looking movie, and I mean that in all sincerity. This is a beautifully shot film with excellent cinematography and lighting, and I really do mean that. Similar to the first film, this is not the MTV movie that the trailers are trying to make you think it is. And it was disappointing to see that McConaughey wasn't returning for this movie, but in his place as MC is Jada Pinkett Smith, and she's great as well. I've made a lot of observations about the Magic Mike movies in my head because I just like to think deep about the male stripper movies, I guess. Something about these movies are very interesting to me. Number one, the first one, a lot of girls were really excited about seeing it, trust me. When I saw the first Magic Mike at a screening, I swear there were probably like five to ten dudes in a theater filled with like two to three hundred people. And there were lots of moans and lots of oohs and ahs and cheering and sweating and wet seats. But the strange thing was is that a lot of women were really disappointed with that movie because the trailers marketed it like it was Step Up 5 for adults or something. It was actually a movie that explored the people's lives, explored things about what they do, got deep into the hardships of what it's like to live that type of lifestyle. It was a lot more serious than people were expecting. So I've actually talked to more men who like Magic Mike than women, which is really interesting. And just like the first film, when this movie ended, I saw it with my wife. The two girls behind us were like, man, I wish there was more dancing. There wasn't enough Channing Tatum butt. And we were like, I actually thought it was good. And they, and they just started laughing. And they were like, I was like, I'm serious. I actually thought it was a pretty good movie. And they were like, really? You liked it? I swear. I was probably the only guy in the theater tonight too. There's something about these movies that brings in a certain crowd. But then it's deceptive because it's actually a well-filmed, well-shot, and interesting movie with characters. Yes, there are actual characters in this movie. They really flesh them out. You see a lot of their flesh, and they flesh them out. Stripper jokes! Yay! The movie takes a lot of time to have people just in cars discussing their lives, discussing their ideas for new routines, talking about themselves, talking about what they're dealing with that's led them to this place. Why aren't they doing exactly what they want to do? Why is this the thing that they need to make money to do what they actually want to do? What do these guys want to do with their lives? Also, something about this movie that I think appeals to guys is something they talk a lot about in this film. The idea of being everything this person you're dancing for in this moment needs. Everything this woman needs right now, you can give that to her and she loves you for it. You're just rocking her socks off. You're making her whole day. And I can't really think of any guy who wouldn't want to have the bodies that these guys have and the ability to be able to do that for a woman because I love the idea of that. The fact that these people, these guys are dancing for, you're just making their whole world in that moment. And I think the film explores the strange beauty of that. Like I am I know, I'm getting super philosophical about the male stripper dicks swinging around movie, but the movie actually goes in that direction and I was legitimately impressed. I'm not gonna look at this movie and be like, oh, it's dudes dancing, this is probably horrible. It's actually a really well shot, well acted movie with some legitimately good humor. There is a fantastic gas station scene involving a Backstreet Boys song that was freaking hilarious. There are times though when the movie tries to reach a little bit for some emotion that just isn't there because you have to meet certain requirements with a movie like this. You have to have stripper routines every here and there and they have to be big and they have to be loud and they have to be awesome. But the movie is also trying to do more than that. And there are some times where those two different themes clash a lot because they work as routines. These guys are talented as hell. But then when they're trying to go for some of the more emotional elements, they don't always form a cohesive whole. Also, any movie about male strippers that has the balls, no pun intended, to make fun of Twilight, I gotta give that some major props. I'm gonna give Magic Mike to a B.
Real talk here, guys. I just watched a bunch of dudes with their asses hanging out and shit, and I liked it. I enjoyed the film. What can I say? Guys, I'm curious to know what you thought of this film or the last film, because I find the whole Magic Mike thing very interesting, because it attracts a certain crowd, and then sometimes that crowd isn't pleased for some reason because it actually goes deeper than they were expecting. I want to know what your guys' thoughts on that are. Guys, I also want to let you know that I'm still doing my promotion with Crunchyroll.com. It's an anime streaming service. I'm offering my viewers 30 days of it for free. If you go to Crunchyroll.com slash Chris Stuckman, you can take advantage of this awesome service from people who love and care about anime. Streaming in HD with no ads, you're getting shows directly from Japan sometimes hours after they premiere in Japan with English subtitles. You can't get that experience anywhere. And I'm always trying to look for promotions that I can do for you guys that give you stuff because you guys are the best. Free stuff. I want to give you guys free stuff as often as I can. They have so many great shows like Attack on Titan, which I will be talking about soon. I hope you guys check it out. That's crunchyroll.com slash Chris Stuckman. Thanks, guys. And as always, if you like this, you can click right here and get Stuckmanized.